there, Tia. It is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. So I figured I'd make you a video here to help show you the trim of the CX-90. Now, this particular trim level is called the Preferred Plus. It's going to be directly equivalent to what you have, but obviously with the brand new model, there is going to be quite a big update. The interesting part for the updates is these are significantly more powerful and actually get almost 25% better fuel economy. So not only do you get more power, you get or excuse me, you get better gas mileage. I'm tongue tied this late at night. Now wheel wise, you're going to have an 18 inch multi spoke design, all LED in the front. And what's really unique is you'll see that this LED bar cuts right in the middle of the grill. It almost looks like part of it. Obviously, all of the safety features that you have on your current CX-9 do carry over. Everything from collision avoidance to lane assistance to blind spot system, the backup camera cross alert, and so forth. What makes these more unique is the way that they drive. These are built on basically the same platforms that BMW and Mercedes are built on, which are going to be a real world bias, and then the engine goes basically in line which makes it very, very smooth and also, again, more powerful. Now, in terms of advanced key, a little bit different, a little cleaner. Like on your current vehicle, you have the button that you can press to lock or unlock the door. But this particular one, as soon as you grab the handle, it'll automatically just unlock for you. Now, to the rear, you'll see that you have your LED tail lights. You are going to have dual exhaust up underneath the bumper. You obviously notice everything is all wheel drive. And then of course, lift gate is going to be power here. However, I didn't unlock the car. So let me try this again here. Perfect. Now space wise is going to be a little bit bigger. Ironically, not by much in overall length. People look at these and they're like, oh my goodness, they're massive. But ironically, these are only about an inch longer overall than the CX-9. A lot of it is the way that they did the body lines and that the fact that it's a little bit taller. Now, this particular one is going to be a seven seat configuration. What Mazda had done is instead of a bench in the center, they did captain chairs, which look significantly nicer and did basically three rows of seats in the rear. Now, speaking of the back seats here, just unlocking, you'll see that this particular one has the two-toned interior, which I have to say I love. However, if you get worried based on children or pets, there is a black interior available. What I like so much about this particular interior is you'll notice all of the black panels in this gorgeous blonde wood up through here. Of course, you'll have the shades that pull up here seats they'll recline with those captain seating you have armrest here you'll have chargers in your tri-zone climate that you'll see of course you have a sunroof up there much like your current cx9 and then this is where everything's going to make a big statement this is so much nicer cleaner and more luxe you have leather that goes across the dash again with this particular light interior you have those big staples of kind of blonde wood up through the doors Pioneer audio system. You'll have your heated leather seats, obviously all power. And then the screen is going to be quite a bit bigger. You are running a near about 11 and a half inch screen up there. Now you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in your current CX-9. However, you have to be plugged into the USB port in order to use it. However, you'll see that I'm filming and my Apple CarPlay is up on the dash. And that is because it is wireless in this particular trim level. Now, gauges wise, you'll see that this went to a digital display. I can kind of project a regular speedometer in there if I prefer. You'll see that you'll have your dual zone climate with those heated seats. This is actually a wireless charger, so you can set your phone on and charge. You'll have your cup holders kind of hidden under there. And then obviously a very similar but updated kind of dial system. Different drive modes. For instance, if you really want to go a little crazy, you can go in sport mode. You'll see that you have an off-road mode for a little bit better traction if you're kind of going through some crazy weather. And then obviously the main attraction up here, even going to reverse, you have your high resolution backup camera also. What's a little bit unique with this is another feature called an HUD or head up display. So it's gonna be a little difficult to see. I'm actually gonna go into the settings here and adjust it so that way you can see it a little bit better but you're going to see a zero mile per hour kind of floating up on the windshield there. And essentially that is your heads up display. So as you're driving, it's gonna start projecting a bunch of road information up on the windshield in front of you. In fact, if you're using navigation, it will put all of your turn by turn directions up on the windshield in front of you, among other uh, safety warnings and so forth. 
So there is a lot of upgraded tech, but just the overall style of the interior is quite gorgeous in these. Now again, this particular one that I'm filming for you, Tia, just happens to be the black exterior with this lighter combination. But right now it is showing that I have about eight different combinations in stock, depending on if you prefer a particular exterior color, or again, if you prefer maybe the black interior that will have the aluminum trim up here instead of the blonde wood. But I hope this helps just give you a little bit of an example on some of the key differences between your current nine to the CX-90. And then again, I'm always here to help if I can be of any assistance and I'll look forward to hearing back. Thanks again.